we're combing through the aisles of Vulcan Video, an independent video store here in Austin, Texas, to find the most obscure, the strangest, and the overlooked gems of yesterday. This is the Vulcan Vault. Welcome to the Vulcan Vault. Uh, today we got a good one here. Uh, Brian, uh, yeah. how long have you been working at Vulcan? Oh, four years. I'm very old. <laughs> so yes. uh, what'd you pick out for us? I picked the movie The Long Shot, which is a, a mid-80s uh, horse racing comedy, which is a genre that I'm really kind of obsessed with right now. I love 80s horse racing, racing comedies like Let It Ride with Richard Dreyfuss is a real good one. Hot to Trot, of course, is probably the classic one. <laughs> and uh, this one just kind of slipped me by back in the day because like when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Tim Conway. Love the Apple Dumpling Gang, the Private Eyes, like Carol Burnett, like Dorf, all the Dorfs. Yeah. But this one, like I just never heard of it until recently, and it's and it's it's directed by Paul Bartel, which is really weird. Because usually you don't think of him as doing kind of like family comedies. He's a little darker, you know, Death Race 2000 and Eating Raul and stuff. But this one, he decided to make like, let's make a horse racing comedy for like dads. Because it really is like kind of a dad movie because it stars only kind of older guys. You got Tim Conway, Harvey Korman, and of, the, of course the great Ted Wass, which you remember from The Dad in Blossom. But he was also in the TV show Soap and he... Strangely was the one they picked to kind of replace Peter Sellers when they tried to reboot the Pink Panther movies in the early 80s And I think it's the curse of the Pink Panther, which is terrible, but he's real good in this. Come on, breathe I, I, I... It's a lot of slapstick a lot of like very just good scenes of just like old men falling down. Like Tim Conway is like, oh, he's already looks like an old man in this. And there's a lot of him like falling on the ground or spilling like hot things on his lap and just kind of doing kind of zany Jerry Lewis-esque slapstick. And then the gags go into real strange places because I guess they ran out of like this falling down joke. So there's like a weird, really long sequence where Ted Wass tries to balance out a table in a restaurant while they're having like a meeting with some mobster guys and he's just like putting napkins and it just goes on for a really like really way too long but it kind of makes it even funnier because it's just so long <laughs> and then there's another very strange one where they decide to all barbecue inside a closed car so they're just inhaling the smoke of this barbecue and it doesn't a lot of it doesn't make sense <laughs> but i love it i really do and the cherry on top i think the thing that really makes this like the best is the opening credits uh, theme song is a rap song sung by, well, rapped by Tim Conway and Ice T, like rapping the, together, summing up the plot of the movie you're about to see. Maybe one of the first rap songs to summarize a movie. Gonna slap on my shoes and I'm looking fine. Them old shoes ain't got no shine. I'm going to the track and I'm gonna win a ton. It's been about a year since the last time you won. I got this horse, he come off the pace. Five, look give you ten, he ain't in the race. The horse looks good and he can do. The last time he won was in 42. How does does Ice T uh, fit into the movie no, any just, other way? Nope, he's just there just to you know to get that street cred by hanging out with Tim Conway during the theme song. Ice T loves dwarf. Even some jumping jacks come in the pretty handy there. <laughs> I, that. I think he must. He must love Dorf. Who doesn't? Like, he probably has a copy of Scarface and Dorf on top of his <laughs> television. Well, you look a little inhibited. Really? <clears throat> inhibited? Me? Oh! <laughs> Now, is, is, the, is the humor, is this like Disney level humor or is this really aimed at dads? I think it's dads. It really yeah. feels like it's like because dads love Leslie Nielsen, dads love Three Stooges, and it definitely is in that thing. But then it also helps that they all have like nagging wives. Got one more card, Madge. Your life is one more card, one more beer, one more belch. Mm hmm. And they all have just like, oh, I hate my job. Let's go to the racetrack. Let's just have some beer and play poker in the garage. It really feels like some real dad core. Wow. Yeah. All right. So this sounds like a, a winner. We yeah, are talking. The long shot. And it's on the same DVD as They Went That Away and That Away, which I've never seen. And oh, jam. The cinematography on this movie is Robbie Mueller, who became a great cinematographer for like Jim Jarmusch and, and what have you. So hey, there you go. Gotta for the for the art film people to watch the long shot. <laughs> that's that's a winner, man. That is such a winner. <laughs> right. Brian, thank, thank you, you so much. Uh -huh. Thanks. And for, for uh, more news and reviews, keep checking in with Anticool.com. I'm John Airy.